And one of the challenges that happens often in a, in a tight economy like this, uh, in a place where I, I sort of guess from the intro that you don't have an unlimited budget for new technology, is that a reasonable assessment? <laughs> like you guys are just writing out requests and they, no problem, right? Hotline, red phone to Microsoft and IBM. Uh, we all have challenges in our businesses these days. And people talk to me a lot about what those challenges are, especially in a tight economy. And often my answer to them is, well, you're lucky you're not a musician. And, you know, most people say, what are you talking about, Doug? I mean, how cool would it be to be Bono or Beyonce or whomever you like, flying around the world in a private jet, drinking Dom Perignon, and having 50,000 people a night scream their love for you? Like, how bad is that? And I said, well, yeah, but when you think about it, the most competitive business in the world is the world of music, right? I mean, how many of you play an instrument? Come on, there's got to be some. You have an IT band in this department? You've got to have a couple of bands, bad bands. You play in the band to remind yourself why you got a day job, right? <laughs> and your wife or husband says, can you do that in someone else's garage, please? But music's incredibly competitive. There are, you know, hundreds of millions, probably billions of people play a music instrument on planet Earth. And how many of them actually make it big in any year? Not very many. And I would put probably millions of kids going to garages and basements hoping to be the next Green Day or U2 or Kanye West or whoever it is, and very few of them make it. And what I love about the world of music uh, is that there are only 12 notes in the Western music system. Here's, here's what they are. That's it. 12 notes. Repeat up, repeat down. There are only 12 notes. And every musician has exactly the same 12 notes to work with. And did you ever hear one of them complain about that? Like, did you ever see an interview with Bono where he said, oh man, the Line on the Horizon album's really lousy because we've used all those notes before. Someone's got to invent some new notes. Find me, a, you know, a music guy. Musicians just figure it out. And, uh, and, and they, you know, the, the challenge of a musician is to find a voice that's so unique to yours that people recognize you instantly. So uh, let me put, how many of you are guitar players? Show of hands. Up. Don't, we're not going to make you play. It's really, it's okay if you, <laughs> if you suck, that's okay. I won't tell anyone. All right, guitar players, I expect you to get this. This is going to be an interactive thing that I'm doing for the next 10 minutes, so I expect your voices to be loud. Just yell, hey, Doug. Hey, Doug. Oh, man, come on. I'm going to make you come up. Hey, Doug. Hey, Doug. There you go. All right, who's this? Yell out. Santana. One note, Carlos Santana. Here you go. Here's what Carlos played. <laughs> Carlos and I have a deal. <laughs> I don't do the music thing. He doesn't do the storytelling thing. We stay out of each other's turf. Carlos plays one note. And we know that it's him. I mean, a lot of people yell out Carlos Santana. And that's the goal of all of us as individuals and all of us as teams is to find a way to express ourselves uniquely that, that's, uh, you know, that resonates with the people that we're dealing with. And uh, I want to play a little game with you. Uh, it's called The 12 Notes of Music. And I'm going to start by saying there's a really basic musical form for those of you who play uh, guitar or play music. And it's called the blues. How many of you know what the blues is? A few of you. Uh, so three chords basically is the structure and all blues songs are kind of formed from that and, uh, and then you throw in some lyrics about I'm broken hearted, you know, my baby left me uh, and you get something like this My baby done left me, she left me alone My beer, my dog, my gun, my truck and my cellular phone My baby done left me, I'm feeling so bad Cause she was the best girl that I ever had my baby done left me sitting in the trailer park with the blues. Three chords, bad lyrics, took the dog, the gun, the truck, the, the pickup truck. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now, that's, uh, that's a basic blues. If you're a jazz musician or a classical musician, you go to school, right? You got to study. And I went to jazz school and studied jazz, and it's true, I, I, uh, I was teaching uh, guitar in a store, and every kid who came in at the time uh, said, teach me how to play Stairway to Heaven, man. And I thought, this is my future. I, like, I don't get to be Jimmy Page. I have to teach kids how to play Stairway to Heaven for the rest of my life. I got to get a job. So 
I started a company. How hard could that be, I thought. <laughs> but that's another story. That's for later. So uh, jazz players uh, play the same thing, but they make it more complicated. This is a song called Pat's Blues by Pat Metheny. It uses all 12 notes in the melody, uh, exactly the same chord structure that I just played you. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> So that was all 12 notes with a couple of repeats. When you take that to its extreme in the world of jazz, this is what you get. Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie playing a blues-based song called Donna Lee. Feel free to sing along. <laughs> You get the idea. That's jazz and classical music. In rock music, you can't do that. Because rock stars have to be good at three things. It's not just about playing. You got, a, you got sex, you got drugs, and you got rock and roll, right? <laughs> and so by very definition, rock stars uh, only get one third of the practice time that jazz and classical guys do, because <laughs> they're out shagging and getting high, right? So they got to learn to be very smart. And a lot of the greatest rock songs of all time have been written with very few of the 12 notes. They learn to be very smart about this. So the game is, I'm going to play the notes of famous melodies or riffs, and you have to yell out what it is. So I'm going to start with four of the 12 notes and count down from four, OK? So this one's a gimme. What's this? So it doesn't get easier than that. Can you, Mike, can you give me a little more Mac, please? Thank you. All right, here's another four-noter. 